This work is a collaboration between the Advanced Centre for Biochemical Engineering at UCL and the School of Life Sciences at the University of Warwick. We have successfully assessed and then demonstrated the benefits of microbial cell engineering in the context of whole integrated processing using ultra-scale dam tools devised at UCL. This allowed a rapid turnaround of process data to inform early stage development and optimization of the engineered cells. Here we investigated the processability of E. coli cells, which overexpressed and then used an alternative secretion pathway known as twin arginine translocation pathway to secrete a protein. This pathway is potentially attractive commercially as it can export folded soluble proteins of interest into the periplasm of the cells. In the results, you see we begin by comparing fermentation growth profiles of three E. coli strains, wild type MC4100, MC4100 overexpressing the TAP pathway 20-fold, and cells with the TAP machinery disabled entirely. We show that there's no effect from TAS overexpression. We then compared the same strains, but now exporting protein into the proplasmic space. The best growth rate occurred when cells overexpressed the TAP pathway, a result of removing the capacity bottleneck. Overall, we saw a 25% increase in growth rate. Using Western blots to detect the quantity of protein exported, we see that the wild type TAP pathway showed poor FHUD accumulation, reaching a periplasmic maximum of only half a mg per litre of growth medium. In contrast, overexpressing TAP pathway gave a 40 fold higher periplasmic accumulation. Now, these performance improvements are useless if cells are less robust to downstream processing, and this is why we analyse their robustness. We show that the integrity of the cells overexpressing TAP is conserved. And it's not only intact cells that we need to be concerned about. Further down the DSP route, we need to remove spheroplasts from the process stream, which are cells which have a selectively ruptured outer membrane to release the periplasmic protein. Here we show similar robustness between the strains. Finally, a scaled-down model of continuous distac centrifugation predicted clarifications in excess of 90% for both intact cells and spheroplasts. Cells overexpressed in the TAP pathway perform comparably to cells with a wild type system. Overall, our work shows that engineering E. coli cells to overexpress the TAT pathway not only allows for greater yield of soluble protein in the periplasm, but also this can be achieved without compromising downstream processing performance. We would like to acknowledge the financial support of the Bioprocessing Research Industry Club in the UK for their financial support.